It's a chance for thrill seekers to take the controls of a rumbling, massive war machine. Controlling that machine is incredible. It's like to have that much weight on just two brake handles, it's awesome. Jacob Ostig never drove a tank before, but the 19-year-old says it was an easy skill to pick up. For the first 20 or 30 seconds, you, you, you're getting used to the controls, but once you actually learn how to control the tank, it's no problem. The owner of Drive a Tank says people from around the world sign up for the course. After a safety class, participants drive around a mile-long dirt course in the woods. On part of the route, uh, you actually go through a, a puddle or a pond, and uh, the water splashes right up over top of the tank and into where the driver sits. And you just have to keep going so you don't get stuck. Customers also have a chance to roll a 60-ton battle tank over junked cars. It's very noisy, uh, a lot of vibration, kind of warm but not uncomfortable. Uh, it took a little getting used to uh, the maneuverability, but it's just, a, it's just a blast. The Minnesota company only features British tanks because surplus parts are readily available. U.S. vehicles just aren't available in the quantities that we would need. The cost is very high, and since they're so rare, we believe those vehicles are best left in museums or preserved. Um, what we're doing here is definitely going to wear them out. After riding in a tank, Brad Walker says he has a new appreciation for soldiers. It, it, was, real, it was very realistic. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of exactly how hard that job is and something I wouldn't want to do. I, I, my hat's off to the guys that have to do that every day, all day, because that would not be fun at all. None of the armored vehicles can fire ammo, which is prohibited by Minnesota law. The tank driving package starts at $400. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.